A patent application must disclose all relevant prior art or risk running afoul of the dread doctrine of inequitable conduct, an affirmative defense to claims of infringement that can render a patent unenforceable. In Therosense v. Becton Dickinson, the Federal Circuit clarified just how blameworthy an applicant had to be for this doctrine to apply. Therosense, which became Abbott Diabetes Care, invented a disposable blood glucose test strip. The Patent and Trademark Office repeatedly rejected its patent application due to prior art in the form of another Abbott patent for a different test strip. In 1997, Abbott modified the test strip design with a new electronic sensor that didn't require a protective membrane for whole blood. Abbott submitted an affidavit to the Patent Office stating that the earlier test strip did require a membrane when testing whole blood. Convinced that this distinction overcame the prior art, the Patent Office awarded Abbott a patent. Becton also manufactured a blood glucose test strip. Abbott sued Becton for patent infringement. Becton raised the equitable defense of inequitable conduct. It argued that Abbott's patent should be invalidated because Abbott hadn't informed the Patent Office that it had filed briefs with the European Patent Office stating that its earlier invention didn't require a protective membrane. In these briefs, a membrane was described as preferable but optional. The district court determined that Abbott's patent was unenforceable due to inequitable conduct. The United States Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit affirmed. Then, concerned about the expansion of the inequitable conduct doctrine, the Federal Circuit granted Abbott's request for a rehearing. 